What's good with y'all man, it's CT Hazy, and today I'll be showing y'all different ways on how to green more shots in 2K21 this year. But before we get into the video, please consider dropping a like as it takes me a while to make these. And if you're new to the channel and enjoy playing our online content, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 700 subs. It's completely free and it'll mean the world to me. And lastly, if you want to get to know me and see me play live on Twitch, make sure you get there. I'll leave the link down below. Now without further ado, y'all, let's get right into it. All right, y'all, so first and foremost, what you want to do is you want to go to your settings. You can do this in uh, the main menu. You don't got to be in freestyle shoot around, but you want to go to settings and go to controller settings and you want to go down to where it says shot meter and turn that thing off, y'all. You don't want it to say free throw only. You don't want it to say on for sure. You want it to say off. Once you get that settled, then you want to go to the main settings, go to shot feedback and turn that thing on to all shots. You don't want it to say off or user only. If you do user only, it's just yours that you're going to get feedback on. You want to do uh, and free throws only you don't want to do free throws only you want to do all shots the reason being uh, this doesn't really have to relate fully to the video but this helps a lot when you're playing against an opponent okay and then once you get those two settings down y'all in practice and freestyle you want to go here turn this to Hall of Fame y'all you want to shoot on Hall of Fame I know when you're playing uh, online versus mode when you're playing against random opponents like in my team for example and in play now online I believe the difficulty is either superstar or all-star I know it's for sure not on Hall of Fame and if you're practicing on Hall of Fame and you're able to green a decent amount with your with your shooters once you hop into a real game like it's going to be so much easier to green so apply pressure to yourself make it a little uncomfortable I know it's going to be hard at first for a lot of y'all that don't uh, that use a meter and go straight to no meter but it's gonna pay dividends because I promise you for the last two two games, I've realized that the green windows are so much bigger without the meter. So get used to shooting without a meter on Hall of Fame and freestyle, and you guys will see a lot of improvements. Okay, next, once you get that done, there's two different ways that you can that you could shoot the ball in 2K21 this year. And I'm obviously the way how you shoot the ball is square, but this is what I'm talking about by two different ways. The first way is to really just get the timing of it down the feel for it and that's how i like to shoot in 2k this or actually in every 2k i've played i always go based off of just feel so right here um obviously the meter's off you got to get used to shooting without the meter and for those of you that are used to looking at that meter you're gonna go you're gonna have to go one of two ways and this first way is just going off of time and off of feel how long once you find that green window you just got to kind of memorize it like it's muscle memory and then just try to emulate that same release time every single every single shot so right here, I'm kind of getting into a flow with it. Uh, I've greened a couple of shots in a row now. Once you get comfortable with shooting, uh, just catch and shot, catch and shoot situation shots like these, you want to start doing these type of shots. So right after this one, we'll get into it. You want to get used to doing this, running, catching the ball, and then shooting it and try to green it. Running, catching the ball, shooting it, and trying to green it. The reason you want to get these types of shots down is because you're going to get in the game and you're not going to get every single catch and shoot situation where he's just standing. There's going to be many times where um maybe buddy hills or your shooters running off of screens you're running a play for him it's on a fast break situation so you really need to get his release down whoever your your guys that you're shooting with their release down in a catch and shoot situation and in a running and catch shoot situation okay and then the last thing you want to practice y'all is how to shoot off the dribble and what that's called in 2k is a quick stop if you don't know how to quick stop i'll try to break it down super briefly so whichever way you run you want to flick the right stick in the opposite direction so if you're running left you want to flick that right stick to the right when you're doing that flick you let everything go so here's how to look i'm gonna run left flick my right stick to the right and then shoot the ball um the key thing with this is you want to shoot the ball you want to press square before that snatch animation ends so when you're flicking the stick right or left um depending on which direction you're running it's gonna give him a snatch animation. And before that animation ends, you wanna let go of everything and hit square, shoot the ball. Cause if you don't, it'll look like this. Bam, and that's Perfect. hella slow. I mean, obviously you still get to set your feet, but if you're running off the screen, you wanna shoot that thing as Perfect. quick as possible. And you don't want uh, to give your defender time to recover. So this is much faster Perfect. and this is much more optimal as opposed to letting that snatch animation in. So again, if you're running, we'll go right. If I'm running right, I'm gonna flick my right stick in the left direction, let everything go, and then shoot before that snatch animation ends. Because if I don't, again, it'll look something like this, right? And that's hella slow. Your defense, the defense will probably recover by then and get a contest on it. Whereas if you do this, this is so much faster y'all so again the three types of shots you want to practice in freestyle is catch and shoot situation shots like these right here once you get comfortable with those and you want to run around the arc and you don't want to shoot movings obviously like that you always want to catch it and set your feet and then you want to get used to these type of shots where you're running Perfect. catching and shooting 
and then that's the second way and then the last thing you want to practice y'all is your quick stops off the dribble bam flick that right stick try to get a green try to get comfortable with those three shots and i promise you guys you guys will get a lot more green animations and your shooting percentage will, will improve so going back to what i was saying in the beginning there's two different ways that you can shoot in 2k and i'm not talking about by pressing square i'm talking about how you look at your player when he's shooting the ball so the first way i just went over in three different ways was the feel for it the second way you can go off of that i know a lot of players do is looking at a specific part of their body and using that as a reference point point. and what i mean by that is each player has their own release um and buddy heels doesn't really have it with buddy healed you can't really do this um but with other guys um for example with harrison barnes if you look at his release he kind of brings the ball over his head and then that's when you want to let it go right let me find that green window but what i'm trying to explain is there's a green is you want to look at a specific point of that green window once you find it and try to remember like oh okay this guy brings the ball right right here above his head and that's where the green one is or this guy kicks his leg out right when i need to release the x or the square button that's what his reference point is so reference point is looking at a specific part of their body you can look at the upper half of their body you can look at the lower half of their body whatever you got to do that's easiest to remember go off of that once you find their green window and keep emulating that and just keep releasing that x button right when or that square button i'm sorry uh right when his whatever reference point you're looking at happens now for me personally like i said i go off of the first way of how to shoot in this tutorial and it's off of feel i'm not a big fan of shooting or looking at a specific part of each player's body um i feel like that's just overdoing it it's just making it complicated for me especially if i gotta like really like squint my eyes and just look at uh, each player's body as they shoot i'd rather just go off of feel and memorize that um, so that's just it's just a preference to each his own whatever you feel like doing but once you find your comfortable uh, way of shooting keep getting shots up in freestyle before you get into hop into a game or if you're trying out a new team definitely hop into freestyle and get their shots down the releases down because you don't want to get into a game and you don't know any of their releases and another thing y'all is i run a five-man lineup so it really narrows it down for me whenever i'm trying to find which five guys i want to run with uh, whenever i use a new team and it narrows it down because all i need to do is memorize the five guys that i'm going to shoot with and in play now online you're only going to probably shoot you're not going to have a lot of lineups where all five of them could really shoot knock down like for example this king squad in tier three i use them a pretty good amount and the lineup i run i only have three real shooters and it's buddy healed tyrese halliburton and her harrison barnes so I get used to their releases before hopping into a game because I'm not going to shoot with guys like De'Aaron Fox and Hassan Whiteside, who are my remaining two starters that play the whole game. You want to get used to, you want to find your favorite releases. For example, they have Marvin Bagley starting. And if I put Marvin Bagley in, like Marvin Bagley's release isn't bad. However, I just can't agree with him as consistent compared to Harrison Barnes. The sheer fact that he can't spread the floor for me and can't really shoot from these corners, at least as a big and stretch the floor, he won't run for me. Whereas Harrison Barnes, if I plug him in, y'all saw earlier, I was making a couple of greens with him. He has hot spots all on the left side of the court and the top of the key. Obviously that right side of the court hurts him. It would be nice if he had it from both corners, but hot spots is a big, big key this year. So once you find your five guys and you find those guys that you like the releases with, Next thing you want to do is try to remember where their hot spots are. And it's not that hard to remember, I promise y'all, because if you're running a five man lineup and you're only having three to four shooters at max, it's it's not going to be hard to remember their release, especially as time goes on, you keep playing with the same team. You just got to remember their hot spots where they like to shoot it from. And it's not that hard. Like I know Harrison Barnes is from the left side of the court. Buddy Heels is similar. He has more hot spots on the left side of the court. Okay. And then another thing that you can look for, but it's not going to always be there is their badges. You can't control their badges like my team where you can add badges. However, it is nice to know which players have good badges. So you can really give them a shot at a uh, shooter on when you're trying to find your five man lineup. And good ones are like corner specialists, catch and shoot. Flexible release is really nice because if you, if you suck at greening, this will bail you out. Hot zone hunter is nice. Uh, steady shooter sucks. I, uh, I'm going to keep it a bug with you guys. Steady shooter, uh, if you don't know already, this limits your green window on catch and shoot uh, wide open shots. But this does help, uh, especially on next gen when you're shooting contested shots. Uh, Tyler shooter is nice. Green machine is nice. Range extender is really nice. Um, but not a lot of, again, like I said, not a lot of players in Play Now Land will have a lot of badges. Um, so what I go off of when I'm trying to find my lineup and my shooters are their ratings. Y'all, I'll go straight to this right here, this column right here, and I'll look which guys are at least around an 83 ball and up. 
and these guys I will give them a shot and if I like the release and they have decent enough hot spots then I'll let them run for me for example I'll take out Marvin Bagley or Tyrese Halliburton because I can shoot way more threes and green it with Tyrese Halliburton as opposed to Marvin Bagley and we have right now we have Terrence Davis on the court he has two hot spots which is solid and he has like an 80 something three ball but if you look at his release I'm not a big fan of this release y'all so I'm not gonna play him because I just not a fan of it so what I'm trying to say is when you're finding your guys find your preferable shooters the releases because just because they have a high three-point rating doesn't mean they're gonna be your shooter because you might not like the release so to each his own you need to find your favorite releases like for example the Mavericks is another team I take out Tim Hardaway Jr. who is a good shooter IRL and in 2k he has good badges and good stats and all that stuff but I'm just not really a big fan of his release and I'll take him out for a guy like Trey Burke who's smaller he's his rating overall I don't think is, is even as good as Tim Hardaway Jr. but he has that T-Mac uh, release y'all where it's just if you know you know and I love that release so I'll, he's actually my favorite shooter on that team and I'll run my plays for Trey Burke and then you guys will be good from there y'all. All right, y'all, if you have any questions in terms of this tutorial on how to green more, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to help y'all to the best of my ability. But all right then, y'all, that is going to wrap up this video. Hope y'all dig it. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 700 subs. It's completely free and it'll make my day. And as always, I appreciate every single one of y'all and much love.